Now this is indeed a um, schematic representation of an actual virus particle. Parvovirus is one of the very smallest and simplest of the viruses. Uh, have a single protein kind of protein subunit uh, that uh, forms a, a small shell and 60 of them decorate that or, or uh, assemble into that shell as suggested here. And so uh, if we take a slightly closer look at that protein subunit in a traditional ribbon diagram representing the fold of the polypeptide chain, you see that it's based on a quite simple compact domain represented here in red with large loops emanating from it. That compact domain has this sort of fold. It's called a jelly roll beta barrel or sometimes a cupin fold. And this particular representation comes from the structure of canine parvovirus, a, um, a virus of dogs, as you can imagine. But, uh, the parvovirus family includes viruses now being used, such as adeno-associated viruses, now being used as vectors for um, efforts at gene therapy. So uh, in this case, the simple jelly roll, beta barrel structure, has been um, elaborated with loops in order to make a particle of adequate size, as shown here. And that particle can um, package about a five kilobase single-stranded DNA genome. Since the molecular mass of the coat protein is about 50 kilodaltons, uh, there's just enough volume inside to package that genome, of, of which about a third is actually given over to encoding for the coat protein. So that's a relatively expensive way of spending your genetic information. You've got to dedicate a full one-third just to specifying the cardboard box, if you wish, with which you're going to deliver the, uh, the payload that you actually wish to, uh, to deliver. FedEx wouldn't uh, like a system in which uh, fully uh, a, uh, a third of the the weight were uh, in, in the box.